I don't know what happened then, folks. I must have caught the button. Must have done. But this spot down here, like I was saying, that I've been fishing, where I had all three rods on to start off with. Um, I have seen a couple of fish on there today. Whether or not there was carp, I'm not 100% sure. To be honest with you, I don't know. Um, but at least it's signs of fish. But the wind's completely changed direction now. It's blowing a southwesterly now. South southwesterly, southwesterly. So whereas before the wind's been hacking over here all the time, and the fish have been over there, whether or not they'll end up coming over here with the wind going over there, I don't know. Um, but I don't think it's that. I think the more they move about more to do with the pressure what's on the lake on here. I do, I really do think that. Now when me and Richard come last year, the whole lake was full. Just about every single peg. There was only this peg here and the one next door and one over there and a couple down the bottom here that was empty. And I think that's why the fish was here last year. I don't think it was to do with the wind hacking in here. I think it was just a coincidence that the wind was hacking in at the same time. So I don't think on this lake that they follow the wind to be honest with you. I think it boils down to the pressure amount of anglers on the lake because of the fact it sees that many anglers on here now and I think that's what it is where I was bluebell, where I was fishing bluebell the fish were at the end of where the wind was um, it was blowing a northwesterly and I, I, I went on that and it paid off I mean I haven't had nowhere near as many fish this trip as what I did last year and the year before but I've only had one carp, one carp and lost one and then the rest have all been bream so, if I was fishing for bream, I'd had some absolutely beauties, massive ones, but I weren't fishing for bream. But at the end of the day, you know, that's fishing for you, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Um, you know, but I've learnt a few things along the way. But I've still got time, yeah. There's still tonight, yeah. There's the rest of tonight and tomorrow morning. You know, so I'm going to have myself a curry. Do myself a chicken curry with some naan bread got a few more beers left to finish off and then just met the most of me last night um, and fingers crossed that I get one nick one before I go because I tell you now it'd be nice to because I haven't filmed any fish I didn't film none of them bream and I didn't film that carp because of the weather I wish now I'd have just took photos with me uh, mobile me uh, mobile phone um, and then uh, edited, edited, edited them into this film, film footage what I'm doing. So, but never no, mind, there's no I can do about it. At the end of the day, it's reality of the situation, isn't it? So, but, right, I suppose. I've had a shower as well, so at least I'm fresh and clean before I go home tomorrow. I've got another change of clothes in there if I want to change if I get mudded up or whatever when I'm packing up tomorrow. didn't take me long to pack up anyway. I'm getting that quick at packing up now. It's more the setting up that takes the longest. Packing down is the easiest part, I think. It's just the fact that, you know, you're packing down and going back to reality. So, but at the end of the day, get me a down, get some work done and I can get back out there again. I think I'm going to go somewhere where I can take the dock. I'm either going to have another fish, a trip on the uh, river, do some more chub and barbel fishing um, and take the sky with me, the fishing dog, or I might go on the A1 pits and take her with me there. Obviously I want to get back on the duck ponds and things like that, but I can't take the sky there. And me, me, the pond that I fish at Newark, I've hardly fished that at all this year. I think I've only fished it about four or five times this year, yeah, whereas normally I have about at least six like three or four day sessions on the through the year at least this whereas this year I haven't, I haven't been on there much all last year but there's not really much I can do about it now it's getting towards that time of the year where the only thing I'll be doing on there is uh, fishing my laws that's all I'm going to go to my dad's just a bit of uh, just a bit of spinning Jerk bait fishing and that just to get a few jacks or a few of the bigger pipe out of there. Anyway, I'm waffling on again, aren't I? So, I've met some nice people today. I have some couple of blokes out fishing over there. 
I've seen right the way over there, nice blokes. Really nice blokes. I've met no end of people I've been here, so I've really enjoyed it. I don't want to go, but anyway, if you see me again, it could be with a fish. If you don't see me again, then it means I haven't had anything. And I'll just give you a quick rundown tomorrow once I've packed up what's happened. But come on, just one. Just give me one. Just let the fish move over this area. If they move over here, I'll get one. I know it will, but it's whether or not they move over here. So, anyway, tight lines, screaming reels, people. Adios.